So just like any other application, Inventor can create a number of different file types resulting in a number of different file extensions depending on what it is you're going to do, depending on what kind of model or drawing it is you're going to create. And all the files in Inventor, or most files in Inventor, I should say, start from a template. So if you were to click New at the top left of Inventor, uh, you should run a dialog box. And this dialog box is a list of templates, starting points for new files. In an Inventor beginner's course, you'll learn which of these do which job. Uh, for example, when you would use a sheet metal part and, or a standard part and how sheet metal functions and operates. What we're most interested in on a file management course are the templates. Where do these templates exist? How do I modify these templates? And how do I change the location of the templates if I need to? A good place to start is to understand where these templates are. Let's go and have a look at those so we can we can make our own and move them to a different location. So by default, when you install Inventor and assuming that nothing's changed, the folder location for these templates is this path here. See users, public documents, your Inventor release, and then templates. So if you were to open up a Windows Explorer session and browse to your C drive, then go to users, just follow this path here, users, public, uh, public documents, Autodesk, Inventor 2018 for me, could be a different version of Inventor for you. We've now got the templates folder here in Vision. We can double click templates and this list of files here through to here are what you're seeing here. It's an organized view of these files here. And all these files are sheet metal IPT, standard IEM, standard IDW, these are simply empty files. They're empty files that Inventor uses as the starting point for generating all new files from this point onwards. And the good thing about doing it this way is that if you want to preload your drawing template, for example, whether it, you, whether you use IDWs or DWG file format, you can open up the template and make changes to it, preload that template with your own customized settings. You might want to add your own title block into the IDW or DWG. You might want to change layer thicknesses. You might want to go into the IPT template, for example, and add materials or uh, custom parameters or I properties, anything you like. You can do that simply by opening up the template and making a change to the template that will then uh, apply those changes to all new files you create from that point onwards. Doesn't change it for files you've already made, but f it does for files moving forward into the future. Other things that we've got in this template folder here, we have the English folder, we've got a metric folder, a mobile design folder. So the English folder uh, is this one here. That contains templates with the inches format set, the inches unit format set in the template. We've got the metric folder which is the same templates but it has the uh, the unit set to millimeters and there's also some templates in here suitable for the the din standard and we've got the mold design folder which contains the iam template for generating mold designs when you're loading the mold module within inventor the mold design module we can also create our own new templates from within here. Rather than modify the standard default templates, we can create our own. We can, for example, if you want to create your own drawing template, you can take the standard IDW drawing template and then create a copy. And when you create a copy, you can see it immediately appears in the create new file dialog box in Inventor. And then we can change its name in Windows Explorer to my template or whatever it is you want to call it. You can call it after your company name, anything you like. But you can create a copy of the standard one if you don't like to tinker with the originals. You can create a copy and then change this. Open this in Inventor, make a change to it, and then that template will be used from that point onwards for creating new files. So something else which is worth knowing is if we go across to Inventor and close down the new dialog box, go to File, then Application Options. Go to the File tab here. We've got a default templates area up here where we can make a couple of changes to the way templates behave. So the first option here, which is to configure default template. This allows you to change the units which Inventor uses in the default template. When I say the default template, that is these templates here, not the templates in the folder. It's these ones here. So when you configure the default template and then change the units, it's going to replace these templates here with templates containing the units that you specify in the default template 
dialog box. So configure default template. If you change this to inches and then ANSI or millimeters, then ISO, it's going to then say the default template standard dot file extension will be replaced according to your selected standard or unit. So it's now going to change the default templates to suit that unit format that we've just selected. So that's quite nice. That's quite nice. That's a fairly recent ch change that they've made in Inventor. The next option here is the templates path. And this is really useful for moving the templates folder to a different location. By default, like we've said, it's on, it's on your C drive in this public documents folder. And that's fair enough. That's fine if you're just working on your own. If you're working in an office with other users, though, it's it's down to preference. It's down to preference. You might be all right with each user in the office having their own copy of the templates on their own C drives. Some offices, however, prefer each user to be pointing towards a folder on a network share whereby each user is collectively using one copy of the templates. And the way you would go about doing that is you would take the templates folder, this here, right click on it, and then select copy or copy to the clipboard, uh, which would be this option here. Sorry, it's flew off the end of the screen uh, just slightly. But if you select copy and then go to the network drive that you want to copy the templates folder to. So if this was a network drive, you would paste the templates folder to the network drive, go to inventor, and then select browse next to the default templates folder. And then you can browse to that network drive, select the templates folder, click OK. It's now looking towards that network drive for the default templates folder. Click OK. It'll say changes to this folder will not take effect until the current project is closed and reloaded. So you can go to projects, just change the project file over from default uh, from PS file management to default and back again. Click done click new and you can now see that the new create new file folder is now pointing towards the network. So now if you do that on every user's PC, you can point everybody towards the same templates location. Regarding the templates themselves, you'll learn about what each of these templates does in the Invent of Beginners course. So for example, when you would use sheet metal or when you would use a standard part and what, what sheet metal does, for example. But what's worth mentioning at this point is the difference between an IDW and a DWG. Uh, you might also learn about that in a standard course, on a beginner's course, but it's worth just talking about that uh, very briefly in this one. An IDW is an inventor drawing. A DWG is also an inventor drawing. Functionally, they are exactly the same. You, there, there is no different functions in an IDW to a DWG. You can create the same views. You can create the same annotations, regardless of which one you select. And they both look absolutely identical as well. The only difference between IDW and DWG is if you ever need to send your inventor drawing to a user that uses AutoCAD, or if you want to use an AutoCAD viewer to view your inventor drawings, then you would use an I, a DWG file extension. If you don't, and you, you don't care about that, you would simply use an IDW where you get the exact same functionality. You just can't use AutoCAD viewers or send your drones to an AutoCAD user. And if you think of yourself, well, okay, I might not do that, but I might do that. I don't know yet. So what's the harm in just going for a DWG format if there's no difference between an IDW? Surely if going for an IDW template, you, you're not gaining anything, but you're losing something you potentially might use. And you're quite right. The reason why Autodesk still offer both is that for quite some time, the IDW format was the only drawing format that Inventor could use. Then around about six or seven years ago, they introduced the DWG format. But by that point, a lot of companies had created a huge back catalog of IDW file format drawings. So it was a bit too late for a lot of companies to transition from IDW and start using DWG. So Autodesk decided to leave the IDW for file format in the product for companies that had been using Inventor for quite some time. And they've just left both file formats in there as just an option. You can use either or but functionally, they are exactly the same. So now that we've moved the template folder to a central location that all users can, can access, 
The next thing you would do in your drawing office is go to every user's PC. You can pre-configure these paths in the deployment package if you'd like. Uh, however, if you've already done the installs, this will be need this will need to be done manually, which is to change that path there to the network location. Once that's done, you can then, as the CAD admin, you can go to that template folder and then you can open up the template that you want to change. For example, the standard .idw template and then you can make a change you can uh, for example go to the drawn resources area go to the borders edit the border you can go to the title blocks region you can edit the title block and make a change to suit your company needs put your company logo in there put in uh, your own layer styles however you want to set this up then you click save on that template and that's now changed indefinitely from this point on all users that start a new drawing from this template will use the changes that you've just implemented. So that's that's how you manage the templates in Autodesk Inventor. In the next clip, we'll take a look at how each of the file extensions interact with each other and how relationships are built between different file formats.